Today I am serving full coverage realness. I am back in my full coverage makeup bag and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I love the products that I have been using lately and I've also been using brushes and I'm gonna talk more about that when I actually get into the tutorial. But y'all, it's giving full coverage realness. And I just went ahead and put a disclaimer in the title of the video because I know that this video is not going to be for everybody. I know full coverage glam is not for everybody. Everybody's getting away from full coverage glam. But there are still girlies out there who love to do a full beat and I'm still one of them. So if this is not your vibe, I don't even know why you're here. You don't even need to let me know in the comments that you don't do full coverage, that you don't wear that much makeup, that you don't do this. You don't need to let me know. Like, I, I got it. I got it. That's why I put the disclaimer in the title. I know this is not for everybody. And that's cool. That's cool. You ain't got to tell me your life story, okay? But for the girlies that get it, they get it. Like, full coverage? Come on now. Come on now. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. But... If you guys want to see how I achieve this look using some bomb products as well as some really good brushes, just keep on watching. As always, I'm going to start with the eyes first and I have my brightness turned down so y'all can see a little bit more, but I'm going in with MAC Contemplate. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going in with MAC Contemplative State Paint Pots and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Now, what prompted this makeup tutorial and me getting back into my full coverage moment is this girl here on YouTube and I will definitely link her channel down in the description box. I cannot think of her name right now, but she's a UK YouTuber. And when I say sis can beat a face, sis can beat a face. Like, and I'm so mad that she doesn't make like more makeup content because her face, her makeup be a one seriously i love it so much and she's literally what prompted me back into doing full coverage makeup just setting that down with some translucent powder but yeah if y'all remember the black girl uk makeup trend she should have been a part of that trend because sis face bb and i was so inspired by her i was like let me get back into my full coverage moment especially because i've never shied away from full coverage i love it Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going into my Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette and I'm going to take the shade Eccentric and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So I'm up in the crease, I'm on the lid, I'm just blending it everywhere and it's kind of to give a blank slate for the shimmer that we're going to put on top. So the eyes are actually going to be really, really simple compared to how snatched and beat the face is going to be. The eyes are like super duper simple. This color is almost basically my skin tone. Like it's literally like my skin tone. Okay, so then with a little smaller blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Mink, the dark brown, and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner to give just a little tiny bit of dimension to the outer corner. Just for some fun and some smoke. Okay, very, very simple. And now for my lid, I'm going to go into this ColourPop Super Shock. And this is in the shade Ritz. And if you guys don't know, this is a dupe for Urban Decay's Space Cowboy. So their, um, what is it called? Moon Dust Eyeshadow Formula. This is a dupe for that shade. And I'm going to pat that onto my lid very lightly. Um, I don't want the color to be too intense, but I want y'all to be able to see this sparkly moment on the lid for sure. Perfect. And I'm not swiping this color on my lid. Um, I'm kind of just dabbing the color onto my lid so that it really gives like a nice soft sparkle. Okay, so boom, this is what the eyes are giving. Now, I think I'm gonna put some black liner on my upper and my lower lash line just to give us like a little bit of smokiness. 
All right, y'all, so I did end up smudging my top lash line with the color Minx from the palette. Now we can move on to the face. I'm gonna be using this primer that's new to me. This is the Revlon Color Stay Grip 16 Hours Matte Primer. So I have used this before, but I wanna use it more, especially since this is going to be a full coverage matte makeup look. I wanna make sure that my makeup is going to stay on all day. And then I'm gonna be taking this Milani Keep It Full Max Bombshell Plumping Lip Balm and I already had the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips on my lips, but y'all know I need me some plumping action. So I'm going to take about this much of this primer. Oops, some came out. Because it's like a lotion consistency at first, but once you put it on the skin, it's like it starts oil absorbing. Oil absorbing. Jesus. But it's definitely a lotion consistency. But... Y'all can see how it's definitely taking the shine off of my face. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And since we're going for full coverage, I am going to color correct today. I'm just going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. And I'm just going to color correct some of these dark spots that I have. Because how you going to go full coverage if you're not like covering up these little blemishes, you know? Okay, so let's do some color correcting. I'm not gonna squeeze out too much of this concealer because really and truly, I don't need to color correct a whole lot. There's just some things that I don't want peeking through for this makeup look. And usually I am not a color correcting girl. Y'all know like when I do my regular makeup tutorials, I don't color correct. And then I'm just gonna take a small brush to kind of pat over it so that the concealer is not super concentrated in those areas. Now, after that's blended out, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder and I'm going to set my entire face. So this is also going to help with makeup longevity and it's going to lock down the products that I put on top of it. And then also it's gonna do more oil controlling. And I'm gonna pat this into my skin instead of swirling it around because I don't want to disturb the color corrector. I literally just want to set my face basically. And I'm using a big fluffy powder brush so that I'm not putting on a whole lot of powder, but you guys can see how it's like instantly blurring my skin. And it also blurred the color corrector. So now, my last step for makeup prep before I actually go in with like my foundation and everything, I'm going to spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now, while I wait for that to dry down, this is going to be a straight brush tutorial. Brushes are going to always give you that full coverage snatched makeup look. Makeup sponges like the beauty blenders and things like that, those are more so for a natural airbrush skin-like finish, you know, because it blends the products into your skin. Brushes blend the product into your skin, but they are definitely more full coverage. They don't soak up as much product. So like I said, if you're really going for that full coverage snatched makeup look, you want to use makeup brushes for your foundation, your concealer, your cream contour, all of that. So for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I'm going to be using the Makeup by Ariel brush to apply it with. Um, my Estee Lauder Double Wear is in the shade 6W1 Sandalwood. And I'm going to take like two and a half pumps of that. And I'm going to press it onto my skin first. And then I'm going to use the brush. And I really like this brush. A lot of people didn't like this one. They said that it felt too flimsy for them. But I like that because I feel like with stiffer foundations, this brush really does help to move the foundation around. Like it gives the foundation flexibility. So this is what the skin is looking like. I feel like it covered up everything super well. So now I'm going to go in with my cream contour and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin uh, Sunkiss Glow Bronzer and I'm also going to be using my e.l.f. 16 hour matte camo concealer for my nose contour. I forgot how much I love that concealer for a good snatch nose contour. So I'm just taking the Charlotte Tilbury and I'm applying a generous amount of this product. Now I'm just going to blend that out with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. A lot of the girlies use this for their actual foundation, but I love it to blend out cream contour. 
Charlotte Tilbury is so flawless. It literally blends out effortlessly. And then I'm just gonna take my foundation brush over areas that I feel like I wanna clean up a bit. while still keeping that cream contour in place. Okay, and then for my nose, I'm just gonna draw this onto my nose in the shape that it goes. And I'm using a small little tiny angle brush for this. And this is my favorite way to apply this concealer because it really pushes the product like exactly where you want it to go. Was there something on this brush? Cause I feel like it's coming out a lot darker than it normally does. I don't know, was something on this brush? I was wondering like, what the heck is going on? Why is it so dark? But it's fine. So I'm just going over it with my foundation brush. The concealer is gonna help to clean it up anyway. But I don't know, something must've been on this brush. Now I'm gonna go in with Cream Blush. This is the ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade 25.8 and it's just a light pink color. And I'm going to apply this to my cheeks because um, I found that Cream Blush definitely helps to make my powder blush or just my blush in general last longer because it has something basically to stick to. So my blush no longer fades super, super fast from my face. And like even at the very end of the day before I wash my makeup off, I can still see my blush and I love that. So cream blush for the win. And I'm gonna put it on my nose as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go into concealer. I'm using two as always. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer and then I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So the Charlotte Tilbury is only going on my under eyes and I'm gonna put it like on the side of my nose to kind of help clean up that contour and then on the outer part of my eye to help kind of sculpt the face. And then the Too Faced one is going to be obviously to brighten, conceal, you know, do all the things. And I'm gonna be using a tiny domed brush like this. Again, brushes are really going to give you that full coverage snatched type of look. The only thing I will say is with brushes, you have to be a lot more patient. Like you have to blend and blend and blend and keep blending and then keep blending because brushes are not going to blend as easily as the makeup sponge and they're not gonna blend as quickly as the makeup sponge. So if you're super used to using a sponge, you're really, really, really gonna have to take your time blending with the makeup brush. But I mean, look, it blends it out just as flawlessly as a sponge does. And you don't wanna swipe, you wanna go in like a padding motion so that you keep all of the product exactly where it should go. So now we're gonna go in with the real coverage and the real brightening product. And I'm actually gonna let this sit for a little bit so it can like really settle down into place and then I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, so when I go to blend out this concealer, I'm actually gonna have two brushes on hand. So I'm gonna have the dome brush that I use first to blend out my concealer, but I'm gonna keep a clean brush on hand because like I said, the brushes don't absorb product like the sponge. The product just kind of sits in the bristles. So once you start blending, if you feel like you have way too much product on your brush and you feel like you need to go in with a clean brush to kind of help move the product around or blend it, then you definitely wanna keep a clean brush on hand. And this is actually a popular brush. This is the Real Techniques Brightening Concealer Brush, the number 242. So this is like that kitten paw brush. And I have been loving this actually to help blend out my concealer. So yeah, you just want to make sure that you have a clean brush on hand just in case you feel like you have too much product. So see on my chin, I'm blending it out and I feel like it's too much product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clean brush and I'm kind of going to go over it. And it kind of helps to pick up some of that product and like evenly disperse it. But we're gonna go over everything with our foundation brush as well to help seamlessly blend everything together. When you're using makeup brushes, it's really all about the blend, seriously. The sponge is a little bit more user friendly because it helps to seamlessly blend for you. But with brushes, you really have to do the work. 
So I'm gonna take the side of my brush to get the concealer on my nose. Like I said, it's all about taking your time. Like you really, really, really have to blend. Okay, and so now I'm going to set my under eyes with two different powders. I'm gonna be using the Black Opal Oil, Oil Absorbing Press Powder in Around the Clay Girl. So y'all can see like this is a really light, kind of yellowy toned powder. Um, so now I'm gonna set my under eyes. And for that, I'm going to be using the Infamous Setting Brush from Real Techniques. Now, a lot of people like to use this setting brush actually to blend out their concealer. And I could have did that today because it definitely is a very nice um, brush to blend out your concealer but i really like the dense makeup brush for blending out my concealer because i feel like it keeps the coverage more than this one does but that's just my opinion okay so i'm going to use this powder to kind of set down everywhere and then i'm still going to take a loose powder to set these areas as well so now i'm taking my Too faced translucent um born this way e3 powder and i'm going to Take that same brush and I'm gonna start using that powder to set all of my highlighted areas. And I am gonna leave a little bit of powder under my eyes to go ahead and bake. And then I'm also gonna bake the sides of my nose with this powder. And I'm gonna put some over my eyebrows as well as all over my forehead and then around the size of my nose like so to set my entire face once again i'm taking my laura mercier translucent blur setting powder and i'm going to take that same fluffy brush that i used earlier and i'm going to use that to basically go over my entire face to make sure that everything else is set down And because we're going for that smooth, blurred type of look. So even though we are doing full coverage, we still want everything to look seamless. So I'm gonna hit my nose. While that powder is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer. So for bronzer today, powder bronzer, we're using the Revolution Glow Splendor Matte Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Medium. And I'm gonna take my Makeup by Ariel brush this one is kind of dense, but I love this one for bronzer. I feel like it really gives me like just enough color that I want. And it blends the product right into my skin, right where I need it. And I'm going to blend it onto my neck just so everything is seamless. Okay, so I'm actually going to start to blend and wipe away the powder that we have. For my blush, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Volume 4 Blush Palette. I have been obsessed with this thing. So I'm basically going to mix the two colors together and I'm just going to start applying it to my cheeks. I'm also gonna apply it to my nose and i am gonna go over this with my powder brush so it's not like too too stark for highlight today i'm gonna use this l'oreal chromatic bronze highlighting palette and i'm gonna go into the pink shade and i'm just going to apply that to the areas where the light naturally hits my cheeks and y'all know i love me a good pinky toned highlight so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray my face again with the Charlotte Tilbury spray. And then I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to do my lower lash line. Um, I'm going to do my lips. All of that will be in the description box. I just really wanted to show you guys like the full coverage face. 
So y'all, this is my completed look. The beat is definitely giving. This is exactly what I was going for. And I'm about to be on my brush full coverage kick for a hot minute, at least until I get lazy again and start back using my sponges. But I am loving this beat. Let me get y'all a look closer. Let me come a little bit closer to the camera so y'all can see like the beat is giving 100%. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love the way everything looks. You know, shout out to the YouTuber who put me back on my full coverage game because I am loving it. What y'all think? Because I love it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Letting me know if you enjoyed this video. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Ferguson Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.